hello guys welcome to dtwg the prep welcome okay so in today's video uh we're going to be solving more questions on slopes okay um there are two videos ahead of this one and i've um i've put them in a playlist slopes and i'm also going to put this one too in that playlist called slopes so uh, and i'm going to leave the link of the playlist in the video description box of this video so you can check out all the videos okay and um this the questions i'm going to be treating you can see we have two equations here this is um you know um solving two um a system of equations when you have two linear um equations and trying to find um their intersection and just their intersection is a solution of the two what equations okay we're going to be looking at that also uh questions we're going to be looking at also when we have two points i'm trying to find the equation okay of the line all right that passes through the two points all right and some other questions or generally on slopes okay so you can nail any slope questions that comes out on your ged test okay so these are practice questions that are likely to also come out all right if they don't come out um, the same number word for word but definitely you would see the same format okay so let us go on to the video and if please please if it's your first time on this channel please please try to click the subscribe button and um, you know and the notification bell to be instantly notified when we upload a video for you and also please give this video a thumbs up and share this video in your groups okay uh, preparing for the GAD test you know Okay, so let's get on to solving these questions now. So here we have this question. It says the graph of the equations this and this are drawn on a coordinate grid. All right. In the, co in the coordinate plane below, darken the circle corresponding to the point at which the two lines intersect. Okay, so they've not given us any points at all. So we are to darken. Well, this is a, a question without option. So you have to, on your on your answer sheet, you have to darken um, the circle. They say darken the circle corresponding to the point at which the two lines intersect. So what they are trying to trying to tell us is what they are trying to um, ask us is to find the solution to this system of equation. Okay, so we have these two equations, the graph of the equation this and this. So we have y is equal to x plus 3 and y is equal to minus 2x minus 3 to find where they intersect to find the solution you know this is a linear equation so the line they might they might intersect somehow like this okay when lines intersect means they cross each other all right that's intersection and the point at which they meet each other that's where they would intersect so we have to find this point okay so the first thing we do is we have to uh, we use substitution method to find this there are other methods you could also use you can use the graph method but for you for it to be easy for you in you know so you don't waste time use the substitution method so how do you do the substitution method so you just liken this to what your equation one and this to your equation what two okay so here um you ha we have y w this is already we've made y the sub this is already y a subject of formula here so y is equal to x plus 3. so in this equation you put what y equal to what x plus 3. so we do here we come here we say x plus 3 is equal to minus 2x minus 3. so this is to enable us get the value of x okay so uh here um let's let's do this let's um, take like terms collect like terms we'll take this negative 2x here bring it here taking negative here it will become a positive so we have x plus 2x equal to we have a negative 3 taking this positive 3 to this side we have what a negative or 3 so this plus this will give us a 3x and this uh, minus 3 minus 3 is going to give us what a minus what 6 please please um there's a video i always tell students the video on understanding your science it's quite very important i do tutor students and i see this as one flaw and the funniest thing about it is when you make a mistake in your in your science you know adding and subtracting your sign you would see that answer in your option <laughs> you, you get my point because the examiner knows that most students their weakness is on this how to add and subtract signs so i always make sure um you know when i tutor students when i see that this is a weakness i take a whole full session okay to teach them on understanding signs but um if if 
but uh, there's also a video i've made on uh, on this channel i'm also going to leave the link to this video and if you need a personal one-on-one -on -one tutoring to help you out in your maths you can also contact me okay um i'll leave the link to the facebook group of uh that uh I'll leave the link to the Facebook group and on the Facebook group, I'm the admin there. You can just, you know, private message me and we'll take it from there. All right. And um, the Facebook group, we have over 1,500 uh, members in the group. We support each other with resources, free resources there. Okay. And, you know, motivation to help you out in your exam, achieving your GED so you can move forward in life or, you know, just for self-fulfillment uh, and achievement in life. Okay. So let's get on to this. So it's it's very key you understand how to add and uh, subtract your signs okay please try to watch that video so we have here minus 3 minus 3 is what minus 6 so we divide both sides by 3 to get our x so this would be a minus 6 divided by 3 3 here would go 1 3 here 2 times and we have a minus 2 so we have our x as what minus 2 since we have our x as minus 2 now it is easy to get our y simply we just slot in this value of x as minus 2 into equation 1 so we come here and say y is equal to x is what minus 2 so we have minus 2 plus 3 and what is minus 2 plus 3 that will give us what a positive 1 so you can leave it as 1 so y is equal to 1 so we'll write here in our coordinates you know the right way to to um you know to put it in our coordinates points okay so this is what minus two and what one x would be here and y would be here so we'll go to our coordinates uh plane here and set and you know trace we have x as negative two and y as one so at this point okay this is the point where these two equations will what the two lines would what intersect. So this is the point. All right. So this is the fastest way to solve it. You know, you can do the graphical way where you have to make x. Uh, you know, you make y zero, get your x. Make x zero, get your y. You know, that's quite that's quite long. Then you come, you start drawing your lines. That's far. That's quite. There are two ways to solve this. Okay. So this is fast for you. All right. This is the fastest method for you you just use substitution when you find the equation the, when you find the solution to this two um system of equations that is where the two lines would intersect and this is it this is the solution and this is where they intersect so all you need to do is just shade here okay let's get on to our next question now in this question it says the graph of which equation will pass through points this and this okay how do you solve this all right so we're looking for the graph of the equation okay that's the equation that's what they're trying to just we are looking for the equation or okay of that particular line that will pass through these two points so what do we do first first of all let's do what let's find the slope of what this line okay since we have two points it's easy for us to what get the slope and we'll slot in that slope into our point slope equation you remember your point slope equation your point slope equation is what y minus y1 equal to m bracket x minus x1 okay you'll be given um in um, this formulas in your formula sheet so uh okay don't really get scared about this formula but it's easy for you to you know uh, keep it in heart all right so this is m where m is our slope so we're going to look for m i remember the formula for your slope is what y2 minus y1 over what x2 minus x1 so let's find the slope this is what this is our y2 this is our x2 and this is our x1 sorry this is our what y1 it's supposed to be x2 first i call before y2 so here we have our y2 as what seven minus our y1 is what minus three so minus three the bracket put it in the parenthesis x2 is what five minus x1 which is just a zero okay so here opening up this parenthesis this negative will multiply this negative to give us what a positive then we have seven plus three or let me just let me state it here so i don't confuse you so this opening up open up this parenthesis we have negative times negative that's a plus three over this is a five minus zero which is still the same as five so what is a, plus, a seven plus three we have a ten and ten divided by five plus two okay it's going to go two times so our slope is equal to what two so this is our slope now 
to find the equation of the line, let us use this is y1, x1, and this is this is it. This is the value for um, uh, this is the value for what x1, y1. So let's put it into this equation. Let me write down this our equation here. So we have this. Remember, we've gotten our m, right? Our m has two. So let's slot. So we just have y minus what is y1? That's minus three. And what is our m2 bracket x minus and what is x1 x1 is what zero okay so here opening up this parenthesis this y times this y will give us a positive so we have y plus 3 equal to here we have um opening up this bracket x2 times x is going to give us what 2x and 2 times um zero is going to give us zero so we don't need to add this zero here okay so it can just or let me just add this okay i see i have to do this okay all right and let me i don't want to skip the uh, i don't want to skip any steps so you don't get confused okay just follow me all right so from here all we need to do is now um you know the way the equation of the line should be y should be here only okay y should be here only you know remember this m mx sorry plus b okay the equation should be in this format all right where well, you have y standing alone so it means we have to take this plus three to this side so we have two x here taking a plus three to this side we have a negative three so this is our what equation and our right option here is option b okay so this is how you solve for when you have two points and you're told to get the equation all right you have two points and you're told to get the equation so the first thing you do find the slope of the points okay that's the slope of the line then you slot in all this into your point slope or formula okay to get the equation and make sure y stands alone okay make sure y stands alone on one part on this on this side of the equation all right x should never stand alone and you shouldn't have x on both sides this is very very wrong all right so this is our answer next question says if the graph of the equation y equal to minus x minus 5 were drawn on the grid which of the points would be on the line okay which of these points would be on the line from here uh this is uh one this is two this is three this is four okay and this is uh this is minus one this minus two this is minus three and this is a negative one it's a negative two this is a negative what three okay so let's try a all right all you need to do okay sorry i didn't explain for you to get which points would be on the line all right when you take the values of one point you put it into the equation it should be true now we're going to get to know what it means like what it means for it to be true all right so let's say we take a the, the coordinate point of this point A here is your first point should be your X. This is 3. And the next point should be your Y. You know, this, this is the Y axis. Y is what? Negative 2. So negative 2. So let's put it into this equation. So we have X as this and Y as this. All right. So uh, we have the equation Y is equal to minus X minus 5. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll take take this x to this side. So we have y plus what x is equal to negative what five. So they should what equate. So whatever we do, whatever addition, well, this is addition. When we add y and x, it should give us what negative what five. That would confirm that this point is one of the points on the line, this line of the equation of the on of this particular line. Okay. So uh, here we have y is a negative two and this for y testing point a okay and uh, x is what a positive three so we have plus three this will give us a negative two plus three that's going to give us a positive one and a positive one is not equal to what negative five so this is wrong let us try to use um uh, point d okay d here is what what is the uh point here uh x on the x-axis this is negative 2. No, no, sorry. On the, this is the, our x axis, negative 3. And on our y axis is what? Negative or 2. You can see this. This is x axis, negative 3. And y is what? This is 2 here, negative 2. Okay? So let's put this into this equation y plus what? x equal to negative 5. 
our y what's our y here negative 2 so we have negative 2 plus bracket negative 3 okay uh, when we open up this parenthesis uh, plus times this negative will be a negative so we have negative 2 negative 3 and what would that give us that would give us a negative 5 which is equal to what a negative what 5 so this is true so this point d is true for this what equation all right so this point would be on this particular line all right so our right option here is option d if you if you also try the remaining point you see it is it won't fall on this line it won't equate to what negative 5 so this is our right option option d now the next question here says if a line were drawn through points b and c what would be the slope of the line okay let's find this quickly now this point here this is negative 4 and this is a 1 this is a 2 this is a 3 this is a 4 okay what this question is trying to test your ability on how to locate your coordinate points on the graph okay that's it's actually testing your ability to do that all right so you should always know how to locate your coordinate points on a graph all right so here for our points it says point b and c so uh b these are x1 y1 don't forget to label this i always tell students i tutor don't forget okay because you know when you're putting it into your slope formula you are told to find the slope our slope formula which is m equal to what y2 minus y1 over what x2 minus what x1 if you don't label it you might get confused this is y2 okay and some students will mistake point c as x1 y1 and put b as what x2 y2 you get the wrong answer and funny enough you still see the answer in the option which is quite wrong okay so don't forget always liberate it. it helps you so you don't get confused or you don't forget okay so x1 y1 b this is our point b on the x-axis this should be four a uh, five sorry five so we have five on the y-axis we have a 4 so point b is 5 comma 4 let's check point c on the x-axis we have a negative 4 on the y-axis we have what 1 so this is point c so let's put it into our equation to get the slope all right so here our y2 is what 1 minus what is our y 1 our y1 is what 4 over our x2 what is our x2 we have a negative 4 minus our x1 is what 5 so here a 1 minus 4 that will give us a negative 3 and here a negative 4 negative 5 that will give us what a negative 9 you can see you have a lot of adding of signs and subtracting of signs you can you can see that so please make sure you understand this very it's very key and critical all right so from here what do we do this um, sign will cancel out this sign here okay when you have a negative on, on the denominator and also in the numerator, it's going to cancel out, all right? And this 3 here will go here. Uh, when we reduce this, 3 here, 1, and 3 in 9 is what 3 times. So we have our answer as a what positive 1 over 3, okay? So our answer is a positive 1 over 3, which is what C, okay? Now, if you see from this option, why I say it's very critical, you put your points where, okay? You can see you have a negative 3. If you were to change, if you were to make C x1, y1, and B x2, y2, we are going to get a negative 3. Okay, it means this four minus 4 minus 5 will be up, and this 1 minus 4 will be down. So you get a negative 3. And you can see the right, the option is also here, which is wrong. If you uh, miss out your signs, there's a negative here. Are you getting me? So accuracy is key in your GED test. Accuracy, okay? Speed and accuracy is key in your GED test. All right, so let's um, do our final question. All right, okay, now this is another, a line goes through the point this and this. What is the equation of the line? All right, you can see the way the questions uh, uh, were changed. The first one we did that we had two points. He said the graph of the equation, which uh, the graph of which equation we pass through the points. Now it says here a line goes through the points this and this. What is the equation of the line? Don't get confused by the way they change their questions. It's still the same thing we're going to do. When you have two points and are told to find the equation, first of all, find what? Our slope. 
Remember, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where this is the first point, x1, y1. This is the second point, x, let me put, sorry, x2, y2. Okay, so let's put it in here. Uh, our y2 is what? 3 minus our y1 is what? 2 over our x2 is 1 and our x1 is what? 0. So we have 3 minus 2, that will give us what? A 1 and 1 minus 0 is a 1. So our, our, great, our, so our slope is what? 1. So m is equal to 1. So we'll put it into our point slope formula, which says this m bracket x1, sorry, x1, yes minus one. sorry x alone minus what x1 okay so from here so from here we put in our first points which is 0 and 2 so we have y minus y1 is what 2 equal to our slope is what 1 bracket x minus x1 is what 0 all right so we have y minus 2 opening up the brackets 1 times x is still what x and 1 times 0 is still what 0 so we can just leave you you can just say minus, minus 0 but you can leave this out. So from here we have y minus 2 equal to what x here. We take to make y stand alone on the left hand side of the equation, we take minus 2 to this side, and in taking minus 2 to the other side, it changes to what the positive 2. So we have x plus 2. So this is our equation. And our right option here is option C. So this is our answer. And thank you for staying to the end of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, share this video in your sev several Facebook groups, WhatsApp group to help other students preparing for the GED test. All right, thank you. And also don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ for he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. He is the one who is going to lead us to heaven at last. And he is the one who also will give us peace on earth while we're still here it's going to give us peace it's going to give us all our supplies we need all we need is to have faith in him and trust him and he will see us through every valley every storm he is there with us okay and one thing you should also know i tell people god doesn't abandon us we are the one who abandoned him he's always willing to call he's always willing and is always ready to answer your call at any instant at any moment for the word of god said those that call upon the name of the lord shall be saved so call him now and you shall be saved so thank you from dtwged prep you are destined to win see you in our next video bye